Good morning, everybody. We are still in Waynesboro, Virginia. We're just about to leave today. I'm walking to the coffee shop, but it feels great to have my backpack on properly for the first time in like five days, six days maybe. I'm not even sure how long it's been. But I took a zero day yesterday after our aqua blazing adventure so that I could edit a bunch of videos. Uh, so I'm super excited about all the work that I got done. I felt really productive. Uh, but yeah, now we're gonna go to the coffee shop, charge up our stuff, and get back on the trail. I'm really, really missing hiking now. Um, before our aqua blazing and before Waynesboro, I was definitely in a slump but I think all of this rest um, has really changed my mood around and the purple hair has definitely helped too I feel I mean just just so excited to be out here and experiencing the trail in in all of its glory and kind of embracing the wackiness of hiking so yeah let's go get coffee Let's get on the trail. We're gonna go like 30 miles today. We're gonna see how far and how fast we can go because I haven't been physically challenged in long enough. Here we go. Made it back up to the trail. Woo! I missed it. I missed it. I really did. I'm so excited to go hike. We got some perfect weather. It's gonna be a good day, guys. Back in the woods. So, for the first time uh, on pretty much like the whole trail, I am actually alone. I'm hiking by myself. I, I haven't been alone like this since day one and two. Uh, and ever since then, I've been hiking like with somebody that I know that I met on the trail um, or like meeting people at camp and stuff. But since we did our aqua blazing journey, I spent three days, essentially three extra days not hiking. So anybody who was kind of like in the bubble around me is pretty far ahead now. Um, and then I took another zero day yesterday to edit videos. So um, Iceman, Sonic, and Young Buck, the only other three hikers that came back to Waynesboro to hike out, they actually headed out of Waynesboro and they're further ahead on the trail too. So I've been wanting this alone time. I found it really hard to give it to myself. So I'm happy that it's working out that I am kind of just getting it by the circumstances and I'm super excited to just refocus um, on what I came out here to do and that was to focus on myself and my spiritual journey and to to kind of find myself and what I want to do and find peace I kind of have used like the company that's around as a crutch a little bit um, and I've distracted myself but right now I'm, I'm super excited to just have this time alone to, to focus on myself. Let's hike. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on the trail. It doesn't really look like it, does it? No, this cannot be the trail. I'm confused. Ah, this is the trail over the road not under of course oh it's okay hello hi buddy it's all right i almost just got attacked there that dog was ferocious. It's dangerous out here, folks. Yeah. 
It is an absolutely gorgeous day out here. Pretty easy hiking too. That's what people told me about the Shenandoahs. There's not a whole lot of elevation change. Uh, which is great. We're going to try to push big miles. See how fast we can go. It's going to be fun. And here we are. Atop Little Calf Mountain. Oh gosh, I'm tired. Gotta get used to hiking again. This is the last water source for I think like 13 more miles. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hike 13 miles and then I think I'm just gonna stop because I'm actually really tired today. It's kind of hard to get back into, I feel like I almost got out of hiking shape because I've taken so much time off the trail. So <clears throat> we're gonna get back into it. Uh, I'm gonna listen to my body, not push it too hard. I know I was wanting to come out here and just do 30 miles right off the bat, but that's not going to happen. We're, we're going to stick with 20 today. That sounds good. Got a turkey going crazy in front of me right now. What are you doing? Gosh, that was kind of scary. Turkeys can be mean. It was just like darting back and forth. I was listening to music, and all of a sudden I look up, there's this turkey running back and forth. <sighs> I thought he was going to attack me. Honestly, he's still sitting up there, I think. I think if I walk up, it'll probably start freaking out again. I have never seen that before. Hopefully he doesn't come try to get me. Holy crap. Keeps like running towards me. Get out of here. Probably doesn't seem that dramatic on this video, but that turkey is going crazy before I get my phone out. Oh my gosh. I really don't know what's going on with me today. This hike is so flat. Um, and I'm not going insanely far. I mean, it's a 20 mile day, but my left leg, my left hamstrings more specifically, has been hurting, kind of aching, like a dull ache all the way up and down my leg all day. And uh, I don't know, I, my, I'm just like totally drained. I was expecting to uh, be able to get back out and have so much rest and get after it but gosh I uh, yeah I, I don't know what's going on but um, I'm also like weirdly out of breath too I don't know it's one of those times where I, I feel like I just gotta listen to my body again and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow I really hope I'm feeling better then but uh just can't wait for this hike to be over. I also I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we are in Shenandoah National Park. I mean, it's been like this pretty much the whole way. This is what we're dealing with. 
the green tunnel, I guess. I don't mind too much, so. Okay, the day is almost over. I just realized, I mean, this has been by far the hardest day I've had on the trail yet. I feel horrible. And it's been the easiest hiking. I'm just like in terrible shape right now. I don't know really what's going on. It's kind of worrying me, but I realized there's a great spot to stealth camp and watch the sunset. So I'm gonna go grab some water and do that. Water acquired. This is the first time that I have been carrying a two liter uh, bladder. First time using it. Um, so I hope it's worth it. Now I just gotta climb a half a mile. Go see if this sunset will cure all of my woes. I think it's going to, I do. I'm out of the way, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> I realize now why it's been such a crazy day. It's a full moon, and so we just saw that um, wedding photo shoot, whatever they call those, the engagement photos. Um, but then this guy that I just met, this other through hiker, was hiking down off of these rocks. He fell backwards and broke his wrist. I can't believe that I just witnessed that. His his wrist was like like snapped in half, like like bent backwards. I've never seen like oh man, that was bad. Man, full moons. I think I was talking about this at one point earlier on the channel. It's real, man. Full moon energy is no joke. Oh my god. And now I can't find a campsite because there is no more room at, at the, the top of Black Rock because I left my bubble and found a new one. There's so many people. If you're looking for a, uh, a quaint hike where you don't see that many people, maybe don't hike the AT. <laughs> There's so many people out here. I have no idea where I'm going. I might just go back and try to sleep on an unlevel rock, but there was a million mice on those rocks, and uh, I don't like that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. <laughs> you can kind of see me here. All right, good night. Good morning, everybody. It is another beautiful day on the Appalachian Trail. Um, I am feeling a little bit better than yesterday. Um, my body is still like super crampy though. I did some stretching and uh, I actually took some magnesium. A few people in the comments suggested magnesium if I was having cramps, so bought a magnesium supplement, a little thingy, and uh, <clears throat> took those. So we'll see how today goes. I think I'm just going to take it easy today because I really do think that my, all that time off from the trail actually made me get out of shape. So 
I'm gonna do 21 today, which is a pretty respectable number, I think. So we're gonna do 21 miles. I wish that I was doing 25 to 30 right now, but uh, that's all right. We're gonna wait on that for at least a few more days. We made it to the camp store. Apparently, they have milkshakes here. And I love milkshakes. Let's get some lunch. That was a nice little lunch. Unfortunately, they didn't have any like veggie sandwiches or veggie wraps in the fridge, so I just ate a uh, blueberry muffin and some Cheetos. So, yep, I'm gonna keep hiking now. Feel pretty good. Um, yeah, not much else to say, is there? <laughs> Woo! As the day goes on, I am getting more tired. I'm just gonna take it slow today, I think. Just gotta relax. We're still going 20 miles. Nine hundred point three. Woo! I saw this thing on the ground. I was like, hmm. I forgot about that, that we're hitting the 900 mile mark today, uh, but I guess we made it, and then some, <laughs> I walked past the 900 mile mark, uh, yeah, another 100 miles, um, I guess it's kind of fitting that I walked past the 900 mile mark, because at this point, it's really not that big of a deal, the only one that I really care about are the thousands now. I should stop being so such a negative Nancy, though, or a negative Nelly. <laughs> it is a lot of miles, and I am proud of myself for making it 900 miles. That's it's it's a long walk, and yeah, I'm proud to make it another hundred miles, and I will be proud to continue making more hundreds of miles soon. Well, let's go. This feels like the perfect spot to see a bear. I've not seen a bear on trail yet. Uh, I've only seen those two that we saw on Gatlinburg. This seems like just like the perfect spot. This is exactly where a bear would want to hang out. Um, so I'm gonna walk quietly, try to manifest a bear. I don't think it's gonna happen though. It's kind of frustrating. I also wonder how many bears I've just walked by and not even seen. Because sometimes you're just in the zone. I, especially me. I am sometimes not the most observant person. <laughs> Truth be told. So, fingers crossed. We are nearly done with our 21 mile hike today. Now we just gotta camel up some water. I am so thankful that this thing is here though, because we're only 0.1 away from the summit. So I only gotta carry water, 0.1, don't really have to climb at all. It's awesome. No bears today, unfortunately. My manifestation did not work. One last look. Nope. 
No bears. How cool would that have been, though? Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I wanted you to be a bear, but you are a rabbit. Goodbye. Here we are. What's up, y'all? How's it going? Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good sunset. If you've made it this far in the videos, I figure you're pretty into backpacking at this point, or at least interested in what I'm doing. So, I figured I'll show you guys how everything packs into my tent here. Because I had no idea what I was doing in the beginning, but I kind of have a system now. So, we open up the humble abode. We have the sleeping bag and sleeping pad, of course. And then I put my pack at my head. So I try to keep my pack inside the tent because I don't want any critters getting at it. Um, and I think inside the tent obviously is the most safe place for that. And then I'll put my pillow on top of the pack for when I'm sleeping and stuff. Uh, and that keeps my head elevated nicely, so it works. And then pretty much everything else besides the pad, sleeping bag, pack and pillow, everything else, just goes up and down the sides so these are just like random stuff sacks and uh, my poncho my clothes bag uh, keyboard everything else that I can't fit well that is just loose because the pack is empty um, goes up and down the sides and then probably my favorite part here is my lantern can go up top here so when I'm in inside get nice warm lighting and feels great and then I also have a pocket right here um, where I keep my lighters and pocket knife and everything like that so yeah I did not make the same mistake of not setting up my tent before sunset again last night I waited until after sunset and then all the spots were taken so we got an amazing spot and we don't have to deal with it when it's dark is good let's go see the sunset now i'm ready for ramen ramen for dinner oh it doesn't come from above it only comes from your Here it is. Just getting the shot real quick. Just getting the shot. Oh yeah. The keyboard is out.